Did you buy a Corvette? Did you buy a Corvette? Did you seriously buy a Corvette? It's a Corvette. Ralphie gets a Corvette. It's a Corvette, people. I didn't cry about this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I freaking out. I love this thing. <laughs> Gauges are electric. Yeah, they're. Look how brown that is. It's funny. <laughs> Oh, no, there he goes. There. Not, uh, you are impossible. A to B. Like, what is this? What is this witchcraft? Don't chew the wires. 100%. I can't okay. think of another outcome. All right, Captain Avio, so. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Engine, bing, bang, boo. Sorry. <laughs> Crocs and the T word. Trader paper, what is this? What's in there? I knew you had dishwater hands. I think whatsoever. Hey, spider, get it off me. I don't right. want it. <laughs> Did you say jacuzzi? We're like your dad. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, it will. Mental physics. Can you explain to what's going on here? L4. Usher, you know that guy, according to dad. <laughs> Tore your meniscus. Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. We got something a little bit different for you today. So the other day I get an email. It's from a fan and he's talking about, you know, when's Ralphie's birthday? Well, Ralphie's birthday is coming up. I told him that and he said, I have something in mind to send him. So he sends me this picture and I'm like, oh my gosh, is this guy serious? He says he wants to send Ralphie a real Corvette. Like a real Corvette. I couldn't believe it. I tried to talk the guy out of it. I was like, that's too much of a gift. That's too much. He sent his car. He said he had too many project cars. I couldn't believe that he's doing this for Ralphie. So the day has finally come. This guy has shipped this thing like, I don't know how far away. It's six, seven hours away from us. And they're about to show up any minute now. Ralphie has no idea this is happening. Here in just a second, we're gonna get Ralphie's reaction to finding out that he is getting a Corvette sent to him from a fan. So let's go see what he thinks. And he's even got his Corvette shirt on today. Somebody sent him a Corvette shirt in the fan mail and that's what he's wearing today. So this is just perfect. Look at the Corvette. Just driving to the road with trailers. Did you buy a Corvette? I didn't buy a Corvette. Did you buy a Corvette? I did not buy a Corvette. You, I don't know. Did you seriously buy a Corvette? I did not buy a Corvette. Did you seriously buy a Corvette? I did not buy a Corvette. Do you really think your dad's gonna buy a Corvette? Then who the heck is that? Then what the heck? You bought a Corvette. I didn't buy a Corvette. Let me see your stage so far. <laughs> what the heck is this? He must be lost. Did he seriously buy a Corvette? He did not buy Tell a Corvette. Tell me. Then why is there a guy? What? Maybe he's lost. What do you think it is? Hey. It's a Corvette. Hey, it's fan mail. Somebody sent you a Corvette. Uh, a fan oh, sent you a Corvette. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> I'm selling mine. I'm selling my Jeep. You want to go check it out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they seriously, does it have an engine in it? Yeah, it's got an engine in it. We just got to get it running. No way. Yeah. I thought you bought a Corvette. No, I didn't buy a Corvette. I ain't got that kind of money. I'm never going to sell this. So <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? I think it's an 87, I think you said. Jeez, that's great. C4 Corvette. Wow. 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 That's Look, don't you love the Corvette tail lights? Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. No. Look at that. Look how when you get in there, it's like you're tucked way down in there. Yes. That's pretty awesome. And I think the roof on these comes off in the middle. I think you can unscrew it and take the roof off these. Can you believe it? No. Like, I'm never going to. Tomb port, injected 350. How cool is that? That's awesome. It's got the fold up lights. Yeah, it's got the flip up lights, yeah. All right, well, let's let them get it unloaded here. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And you even had your Corvette shirt on today. Can you believe it? Blink it, ink. I think not. Corvette. It is a dang and Corvette. It's fan mail. Can you believe it? No. We should paint it. Maybe. It's, it looks like it's been primed, so. Yeah. I don't know if you can wear Crocs and drive a Corvette, though. I won't wear them no more then. But it's like unbelievable. Like, I don't even think it's real. I think like, are we getting them running for him or anything? Like, 
No, it's yours. Hey, I'm just making sure you're not yeah. like joking me. It's really yours. Surprises. We're not working on that Jeep next. We're working on this. <laughs> okay? Ralphie gets a Corvette. <laughs> We're going with the new stuff. It's a Corvette, people. <laughs> Did you? Have you ever owned a Corvette? No, I haven't. I have not owned a Corvette. Just you. Well, I'm special. I know. You leveled up on me, didn't you? I always loved these when I was a kid because they were like new when I was a kid, you know? I always loved these things. And you were looking at Rangers. <laughs> You surprised me too much. Like, <laughs> so I it, couldn't tell you ahead of time. Like, I thought you bought one. No, no. When I saw him pulling in. Just enough room for you and mom. <laughs> mom ain't riding in this. <laughs> She'll make you drive slow, won't she? Might have to get some casings for it, huh? These are super wide. Yeah, it's got 245 16s, which at the time, this was like huge. Like, like the tire, the casing. Yeah, exactly, watch your language. I'm actually taller than the car. Well, I think I'm taller than the Falcon. Really. You'll sit in it for the first time? I'm afraid I'll be like, you can't see above the dang windshield. You'll grow into it. It's not, uh, it's not as bad as the C8. That steering wheel comes down, buddy. Look, pull this. Yep. It's better, huh? Every basketball game, driving this, like you're driving it. <laughs> okay. He even sent you a new battery for it. You're awesome, man. Thank you. Very awesome. Never probably would have bought one in my life, but now I have one. Never going to sell it. I really do like it, though. Well, y'all have to ride around. You'll have your license first anyway. Oh, yeah. You might have to drive him around in it, huh? Mm -hmm. For a few I'd years. Be, it would still be cool, no, though. Dad would. It's like unbelievable, right? And... Sent an envelope for the girls, so we need to see what's in the envelope. He didn't leave them out. He was worried about them having something, too. So, what an incredible gift. Like the best of them all. What says Ralphie? He gave you a card? Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. He just gave me $100. What does it say? Oh, your Nana in South Carolina. Your Nana oh, in South Carolina. Oh, that's nice. Enjoy the car. Sweet. Awesome. Enjoy the car and the Whoppers. Oh, you whoppers, whoppers, money for Whoppers. Oh, oh my gosh, can you believe that? Yeah, get the girls one. Oh, I knew Squeezy grab it up. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, split it up. I knew, I knew she'd take it. And then there's a Corvette envelope. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Money to fix the Corvette. I'll take that, man. Can you believe that? That's, that's crazy. They sent money to fix the Corvette. And money. money for Whoppers and money for the girls. So Whoppers in the car is six hundred dollars. That's incredible. That's crazy. Over oh. delivered. The generosity of people is yes. unreal. That's crazy. Makes me want to tear up. I done cried about this. You done cried about it? What a good oh gift. My gosh. Well, let's what? check this thing out and see what's inside of it, huh? Pop yeah. the hood. You okay, Mama? Is this thing wow. turbo? That thing's got a hog leg in it, don't it? Oh, uh, yeah. I have a serious question. What? Is this the kind of car that has the headlights that pop up? Yeah, it has pop up. Oh, my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. You're freaking out. I love those things. <laughs> Fuel injected, tune port. These things make pretty good power, I believe. Can you believe you own a Corvette? No. Like, the Jeep was something. This is, like, on a, another few levels. Wow. Maybe you just pull the fuel pump out right there. I don't know. It has. You need to get a cover for that. It's in the car. Oh. The cover's in the car for that. Okay. That's what looking. takes the top loose. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, this is pretty awesome. It's Can like you... futuristic. Wait, the gauges. Yeah, the gauges yeah, are electric. They go up. Yeah, they're crazy looking. Yeah. They go up. That is awesome. Drive into. Come on. Woo. We don't need. We'll be cruising around the yard in this in no time, huh? Yes. For real. Dad's gonna drive me around. Why do you see him? You know I drive better than him. He's a fun him. driver. <laughs> How about we spray paint it red? Spray paint it red? We, no, 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 no. That's too no. cheap. We might paint no. it at some point. I don't like black and red or red and black or what? blue and gold wheels. Ooh. I just thought about that. Oh. I've heard the reason why these rockers are so tall is because originally it was not designed to have a removable top. 
and then somebody up up high in Chevrolet said we got to have a removable top. So they built that to strengthen the car up so it could not have a top. Cut to us finally having time to work on it. And we're back. Ralphie can't wait to get the battery in this thing. So we got all kinds of tools out here because it's a Corvette and it's harder to work on than what it should be, obviously. Got the new battery here. You can take this panel off here to get the battery out is how you do it because all this other junk's in the way with the cruise control. So we're gonna get to it and see if this thing will start up. Do you think it's gonna start without any work or just? Maybe. I have a little faith in it. You always have more faith than me about it's going to start first time. So he was telling us it's been 14 years since this thing has been driven. So you can see by the casings here that uh, it's definitely been a long, long time since this thing's been drove. I don't know. It depends on if they start it, if they put something in the fuel to keep it from going bad. Uh, we'll see here in just a minute, I guess. I mean, what happened to the battery just sitting there in the tray and you just twist the terminals off and pull it out of there, huh? I don't know why they ever made side post batteries. I'm not really a fan on side post at all. It's very crusty musty. Crusty musty. Okay, new word. Is that enough room? Like there's like a bolt in the bottom right here we could take loose. Lucky for us, this rocker's been about drug off the car, so give us plenty of room to get to this 10 millimeter bolt that's under here. So I just loosened that bolt down there. I think that's gonna give us enough room to get this thing out of here. What does that cable go to? Is this got the boom boom box or something? I guess it goes straight to the frame. I wonder why it has two of them though. So this guy must have been like me. He didn't bolt the ba battery down at all. The hole down is missing. I wouldn't want to do this with a car with perfect paint. I'd be worried about scratching this up, huh? Yeah. Seems like too with the side post, you're always arcing it like crazy, hooking it back up. Yeah. More so than you would on a you know a top post it's hard to make a quick connection well here we go let's put some juice to it hey the light came on in the car oh it did yeah so i wonder why the light's on there's no ways the door's not open yeah. is the key on oh the key the key was on <laughs> uh hey let's see if we can pop the trunk deal i think it's in here oh, yep shocks won't hold it up supposed to roll back here i think she's had a little water back here hey got some liming up how cool is that old off friends Woo. i don't know what that was is that box? this yeah it's a cd changer oh so what's you can that? put multiple cds in it what is that dirt over why is the nest that color I don't know. have you ever seen one that color no They're they like must have different dirt and South Carolina, because ours here are brown. Ralphie, let's see what the, if the dash lights come on. Oh, the fan's on. What does that mean? Does that mean the AC's on? Why would the fan be on? Somebody must have wired it straight. Well, at least the lights light up, huh? That's good. Do the windows work? Huh? That one works, or at least moves. Okay. I don't like that fans come on. I may unplug it. We need to check the oil before we try to turn it over. Let's see, make sure it has oil in it. Oh yeah, looks, looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah. Check her trans fluid too, make sure it has something in it. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Got plenty there, it looks like. I just unplugged that fan because we don't want to kill our battery on this thing anytime the key's on. Well, I think we just might as well try it, you know? See if it does anything. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, let's, let me see about the fuel pump. Okay, turn the key on. Off, on, do it again. Yeah, I don't think your fuel pump's coming on. I love the gauges and stuff. Which means the pump's either bad or it could not be getting a RPM signal to tell the pump to come on, but it should, when you key on, it should come on some, you know? You like the gauges? Yes. But at least it turns over. Yeah. Like it turned over really fast. That's yeah. good. Ralphie's dying to try the headlights. All right, go for it. Oh, so that one came up part of the way. No, it came up all the way, I guess. And then this one didn't do nothing, but it's on. Okay. It's probably something up with this motor that we got to work on. So I believe this is the wiring for the fuel pump and sending unit. 
here. So we're gonna test to see if we have power to any of these pins for the pump. Well, at least it turned over. That's better than being stuck or anything. And the fuel pump is not working. Like, we can't hear it. It's got 180,000 miles on it. 180,000? Yeah. I mean, it may have spent its time in the trailer park, you know? Paid its dues. So Ralphie got in there and turned the key on and off and I'm getting ground all the time to this wire, ground all the time to that one. And the red wire in the middle gets power anytime the key's on, which seems odd because it should come on, prime the fuel pump, turn back off. I don't understand why that's going on. Got that PB Blaster Big Shot on there? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like we may have to take some of this out, so probably a good idea. Where's the gas gauge? Is that it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Are we empty? I don't know. Honestly, don't. Does your radio work? I figured you would have already checked that. Well, you got a cassette good. player, huh? How cool is that? Whoa, whoa. The power antenna came up and almost knocked your cover off. <laughs> hey, your radio works. What a different relationship to time these villagers. You're so fancy now, power antenna. Well, I guess we're going to pull this sending unit up out of here and see what's going on with the pump. Maybe we can straight wire the pump, see if it works, or see what the fuel looks like in here. What do you think the fuel looks like in here, Ralphie? I don't know. Ellie, what are you doing? Be good. Scooty, teach her how to be good. This is easy to get to, huh? Yeah. Now we're just going to coax these fuel hoses off here. Cat's inspecting. Okay, I got this one off. I think that's maybe a vent there. Replacing your gas tank? Yeah, it probably would be terrible. You'd probably take the whole back bumper off, I'd guess, because it's hidden behind here. There we go. So we got all of our hoses off. I'm just worried about these bolts being stuck down there, you know? Yeah. First one's okay. Well, you can see it's rusty right there where water's got in here over time. Amazingly, they've all come out so far. This is the last one. Look at that. I can't believe it. Does it have like a gasket or yeah, something? Yeah, it's got a, a rubber gasket that holds it in there, it looks like. Oh, well, that's gone. <laughs> Man, it smells like old gas. You smell it? Oh, it smells like terrible with old gas. <sighs> Come on, make the turn. So I don't know why this is getting power all the time. You usually only have power when you first key it on and when the engine's running. This is getting power all the time, the key's on. Good morning, Rocky. I'm sorry I haven't talked to you already. I've just been busy, buddy. You doing all right? Taking care of the casings out here? Well, our seal is pretty much completely shot and what we got down in there we have just a tiny bit of fuel on the bottom of it see that the rust in the bottom well, it almost looks like is it plastic inside the inside doesn't look like metal to me it almost looks like it's plastic in there i do see some trash see that trash right there yeah i think we're gonna be okay with the tank itself i think we're just gonna have to clean that junk out of there and put some fresh fuel in it let's see if we can get this thing The pump at least turns on. It wasn't doing that earlier. What the deal is, is the gray wire is the power wire. So the reason why this one had power all the time is because it's for the sending unit. It's for the fuel gauge, this part. Oh. So we weren't getting power to our gray wire. If we got power to our gray wire, a pump would run. Oh. So our gasket is shot. So we're gonna take this thing out of here, try not to drop much rust down the inside the tank. And we're probably going to reseal this thing with silicone when we put it back together. So if you look here, this flange is really messed up from getting water with that lid being off for all those years. So we're going to try to at least straighten this flange out best we can here. Trying to get as much of this rust off as we can as well so we make a good connection. So what we're going to try to do here, we got a 5 16th hose down in the tank. We got my 12 volt Milwaukee drill battery. We're gonna hook on this little dinky dinky pump here and try to pump everything bad out we can. All right, we got it down in the, in the gas. There's not a lot of gas in there. Look at that. Hmm, brownness. 
Nice. Look how brown that is. It's honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I hate doing it that way. Our pump quit working though. <laughs> ah. That's not funny, Ralphie. Ah. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> So now we're gonna goop this thing up with some black RTV and bolt it back in. And we're gonna put some fresh gas in it. See why we're not getting power to our pump. So probably at some point, we're gonna have to just replace this sending unit because of how rusty it is. Maybe even upgrade a fuel pump, huh? What do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah. That'd be good. For now, we're just gonna stick it back together. Hope for the best. At least we know what we're working with now, huh? Yeah. Perhaps we want to check our brake fluid, yeah. Mm. Not much brake fluid there. You can kind of tell how many years they've been sitting by how much brake fluid still left in the reservoir. That stuff evaporates out of there. Look how brown it is. Brakes fixed. Yeah. Done. I feel like that's actually turning on ice. This way, Ralph, it gets air and doesn't go bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah. That's what the commenters were saying. Ralphie just made me put a rag under it because it was dripping on his paint job. Shut up. He's worried about it. It's different when it's yours, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, turn the key on and off. On, off. Okay, we're not getting any power to that wire. It's supposed to have power. So we must have a blown fuse or something for relay. Now see, the way you can check them is just touch this top metal piece. If you have voltage on both sides, you have a good fuse. You don't even have to pull them to look at them. So every fuse in here is reading voltage and good on both sides, except for this one, which is, I believe the instrument cluster, <clears throat> it's just showing the ground. And then FR, which may be fuel pump relay, possibly. We might just straight wire the pump for a minute, just see if it works. Yeah. So when I first put power to this, the pump kicked on for like three seconds and then the pump quit working. So apparently our fuel pump has went out on us now. Even though it worked on the floor, it's not working now. Yeah. So, we need a pump, unfortunately. Ralphie wants to try it here. We'll see what it does. <laughs> it fired. Yeah. Give it a little bit more. Probably what it's doing there, it's probably had fuel pressure from where I primed it for like two or three seconds there, and it worked for a couple seconds. Yeah. And now it's not running. Right. This thing may start. I need a fuel pump. Yes, we Stat. do. See, it was real, I told you. She didn't believe me there was sea foam in a bottle. It's not blinker fluid. We got a fuel pump, oil filter, fuel filter, and sea foam that Wawa did not believe was real. Well, last time, I can't trust you, Dad. I can't trust you. Well, last time I did send you after blinker fluid, but you actually found the sea foam. I thought it was like another well, trick. Well, I mean, did you turn the seat heater on? Y'all turn the seat heater on? Yeah. You and Squeezy? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Burning biscuits. Burning my biscuits over here. God. I need the luxury of this vehicle. <laughs> okay. So we're back from the store now, and Ralphie and me are going to take this fuel pump out of this thing and put a new one in it. I'm going to try to take it off? Yeah. The whole hose? Yeah. <clears throat> That's hard. I'm going to try to twist it. Hey, Look at these dingleberries, huh? <laughs> hey, pudding. Misfit. Oh, no. Oh, there Please he goes. There. Look, what straight in the back seat already. What in the world does this guy do? Come on, Rocky. Get out of there. It's too luxury for you. He likes them cell flyers, don't he? Oh, don't worry. Not, uh, You are impossible. Didn't we just do this, Rocky? Yeah. We just did. Have we done ourselves in here by gluing it down? Ugh. Here that we was, go. That was very close. Yeah. It's not working now at all. What do you think? So what I'm doing is I'm putting this ground clip on each one of these connectors. I'm checking for continuity between them. So like the purple wire there, I clip it on here. It's showing me I have continuity between them. So we just got a factory fuel pump for it. I think this is 50 gallons per hour. So at some point, if we go crazy with this, we may have to upgrade fuel pumps, but you know, this is what we can get our hands on today. There's Mike, hey, Mike. the neighbor. Hey, put in. Look, the sock mm -hmm. is just tearing apart there. Is that all that holds this in, Ralphie? 
Wow. It literally just almost falls out of there. I mean, for a $60 fuel pump, it sure does come with a lot of stuff. Look at all this. Wow. It came with its own blanket here, so it don't get cold. It's foam flip-flops. It's just like nothing that holds us in. Just pushes up in there, no clamps or anything, and then just sits down in this little holder here. Even Rooster Man thinks I got something over here for him. Looks like it's had a pump put in it before. I hate wiring. I absolutely do. Why like, do you hate wiring? I just hate it. It's like my favorite part. It's like A to B. Like, what is this? <laughs> what the nugget? <laughs> what is this witchcraft? All right, let's see if it does anything. Hear it? So we're going to put this whole bottle of sea foam into our five gallons of gas. That may be a little strong, but we're yeah. trying to really clean the whole fuel injector situation. All right, another layer of black RTV around this. All right, we're gonna drop her back in here and give it another shot. I have total faith in this, total. You always have total faith in whatever we're working on. But this doing. is like even better. Okay, even better. Yep. Rocky's trying his best to get in the car. If he could just open the handle, he would do it. He's the most curious goat. You better be glad this thing ain't painted. Oh, in the oh, engine bay. Oh, that's see. great, that's great. Don't chew the wires, Rocky. What are you doing, boy? Oh, he's gonna eat the leaves out of the cow. Well, that's helpful. That's good. Good job. For the first time. Yeah. What's he doing now? Yeah. Get down from there. It's time to get down. No, know. Rocky, no. Hey. No. Sir? No, Rocky. Here. Come on, get down. Leaf. Let's get out. I guess we're gonna have to go get the animal crackers. I think as long as we hot wire the pump, it's gonna start 100%. I agree. So I can't strong. think of another outcome. Crank it. Hi. Right. <laughs> Ready for a second. Why'd that happen? Here's what we're doing to the pump. That way it has 12 volts. Try it again. Should I give it yet? Yeah? Maybe a little. Try to keep it running. Hey, wait, wait, wait. The throttle body was unhooked. Remember that? I just remembered that somebody had probably been spraying ether or something in it, you know, starting fluid. And see this, I think has a mass air meter. So it has to read the air. So we'll hook this back up. Maybe that'll fix it. But we tighten that back up. Without that hooked up all the way, it's not knowing how much air is going in the engine. So it doesn't know how much fuel to give it. Try it again now, Ralphie. Give it some, like give it some throttle to try to keep it running. What was that? Started didn't sound good. Is it a cockroach? Oh gosh. A roach just ran out of it. Oh, a roach God. ran out of the car. Ooh, not good. It don't help to get it throttle. You want me to try it? Yeah, I want you. It don't help to get it more throttle. I wonder why it's firing but not going. Pump's running non-stop because we got a 12 volt battery on it. I'm gonna plug this back in the factory way, which we weren't getting a power signal, but we're just gonna try it and see what happens. I hear it. It ran? Yeah. Huh. Do we have like a check engine light on at all? Not seeing nothing. I don't see a check engine light on. I bet our fuel injectors are clogged up like that Super Coupe was. I don't know what Dolly thinks about it. You're gonna faint if you don't watch it. She's a fainting goat. Anything real quick happened, she's out. So we've got a fuel pressure gauge hooked up now to the fuel rail. We're gonna see what our pressure is. Go ahead, Ralphie. Oh, wow. Well, we got 65 PSI fuel pressure. Try to crank it. Well, so it's not a fuel pressure issue. The dog food came out of the tailpipe. No way. Oh my gosh, look at all that stuff it threw out of the exhaust. Wow, that's crazy. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. We got some gas in the spray ball. We're gonna see if it runs off this. All right, go ahead. We got a fuel delivery issue. It sounds awesome. I love it. Alright, that sounds good. Yeah. Sounds 
So we're not getting fuel. So our injectors are stopped up. So we got fuel pressure, but no fuel getting the engine. I love the way it sounds. sounds you like awesome. how it sounds? Like, like the way it sounds. Best car ever sound. <laughs> Okay, well, let's run it for a little bit more, and we'll probably pull the injectors. No, the injectors clean their stuff. Like, if we can get it running a little I bit. I don't what? know. Maybe, possibly. That's, we'll try it some more and see if it helps any. Maybe that sea foam will get in there. Hey, if we clean out the injectors, we need to put a fuel filter on it. Right, Captain Avio, so. <laughs> you let, me let me prime it here for you. All right, try it. <laughs> Again. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Does it got oil pressure, dude? Um. Do you have your radio going? No. Okay. I, thought I, I heard something. Yeah, I think it's. What the hell are you? I just turned it off. Try again. Okay. I don't know how to tell. It looks the same as it was off. The engine sounds good. It doesn't. It's not rattling. Any gauges working? I hooked the mass air back up. I'm gonna spray it down the mass air meter. I don't know if that's good for it or not. We'll see. As soon as I quit spraying, it dies. Try it again. Definitely fuel injection, Ralphie. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's running smooth. The engine definitely seems like it's in good shape. So none of the gauges are working tight. We nothing. can't tell. Well, like, I don't think that, like, the gas gauge isn't working. The fuel pressure gauge isn't working. Like, nothing. Yeah. There's nothing flashing where it said security that was flashing. You could see that. There's well, nothing the flashing. security it said, is because like, where the door's open, I'm pretty sure. But it's not like, oh, 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 engine. Bing, bang, boo. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, kill it. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. No, different this one. is a different We're one. We're going to have to set a bomb on it. So our injectors are down here. And it kind of looks like you have to take the intake, possibly, top of the intake off. We'll see, Ralphie. But I see the the rail that goes between them the crossover tube is right up against the bottom of the intake so we're gonna get this intake off and either replace these injectors or have them cleaned or clean them ourselves or something or we probably should get it in the shop to do this though yeah at least we know we have a good engine yeah everything seems fine there so feel better about putting more new good stuff on it yeah. because we know we have a engine that's not rattling or knocking or something exactly okay here's the plan you drive i'll spray gas under the hood and we'll I'm get in the it. shop. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you rack it, you vine. Ooh. Sorry. Sorry, it's so touchy. He's pumping so hard. 
They sound so awesome. We might could have made it home. We could have got at least to Rapid City. Right, we might could have made it to Rapid City if we had one of these. It is so hot. I bet it is hot in that it car. Look at this, Thunderbird and a Corvette. Yeah, yeah. Rivals from birth. <laughs> That's a lot easier than pushing it. Hey, yeah. it sounds good, don't you? Yeah. You know it's bad, I just wanted to push into it. <laughs> I killed it every time I tried. I was a little scared, set, like trying to follow you because yeah, you're usually- what? You want to watch your language, honey? Oh, God bless America. What are you teaching these kids? Crocs? I think you get wrapped up in the cases. Crocs and the T word? Ralphie, at least we'll be out of the sun to work on it now. We won't have to worry about the rain either. Fan. And got a fan. Got the twin turbo fan over there. <laughs> We're going to clean our shop up one day. If we stop working on cars, we could. One day we'll clean it up. If, if you guys knew how, how much we work, you would understand the shop. <laughs> It just ain't right. I know, it's not right. It's, I mean, it's not fair. You're supposed to get one of these when you're in your 60s, not, you know, 10. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's just not right to get 10. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go to the car. 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 Alright, let us go to the car alright let us go to the car alright let us go to the car alright let us go to the car the C4 Corvette was produced from 1984 to 1996 in Bowling Green, Kentucky. If you haven't been to the Corvette Museum there, I'd definitely recommend it. They all had the 5.7 liter small block Chevy 350. They made between 205 or 405 horsepower depending on if you had the L83 or the LT5 at the top. Ours has the L98 which is about 240 horsepower is what they made in 87. Uh, there was 30600 produced in 87, and they were $28,000 when they were new, so they were not cheap at all. The C4 was a total clean sheet design over the C3, way better suspension and braking compared to the C3 Corvette, which it was replacing. Hope you like these old ads. Let's get back to the video. Ralphie, we got in a hurry. We hadn't even looked inside of it in here. It looks like some old power window motors. I mean, there's a little bit of that liming up there. We might try that. Brownsburg. I wonder where that's at. What is this? Is this the uh, trailer paper? What is this? Why is there pillows in a Corvette? That's well, an old woman. Old woman, you think? Okay. So what's in here? Oh, look at that. It's got like a storage compartment. I'm going to take this off. That's kind of neat. And then we got a CD changer. Let's see. What's, what's in here? What's in here? Usher. Uh, sure. Oh man, don't tell your mama that. She'd be right back in high what school again. What is that? You got lug nut covers and an ash thing. Hey, what's down there? What's in there? Wait, let me get in you got the papers. That's the manual, I think. Oh man, there's a whole manual? That might help. That's like one of those service manuals. Awesome. Oh, a little crunchy, a little crunchy. 
Yeah. It looks like the owner's manual's right. in there. 84 through 91. Um, okay. We got the original owner's manual. Looks like a taking apart owner's manual. They separate out the parts for us. Look, it almost looks like the little seats we had in the Starlet. You know? Sweat breath. Sweet breath. <laughs> Not sweat breath. You don't want sweat breath. You want sweet breath. Sweet. You gonna try it out? Experiment and drops. You wanna try it? Those things are probably from the 90s or something. I kinda want to, but I kinda don't. Who cares? <laughs> It's not open, the lid's not on. Oh. <laughs> that may be really bad now, I don't know. I just do one drop. <laughs> just <laughs> or, taste the end of that. You don't have sweat breath? I ain't tasting it. Yeah, just try it. No, I'm good, thank you very much. Look how there's almost no glove box or console here. It's like no room in that thing. I hope we don't have to replace these gaskets. This has definitely been a part before. Ooh. It's an RTV together. That needs to be like 10 times bigger. <laughs> pull this up. So we had a, a big vacuum port back here. I don't know if that's what was holding us. Was I think holding it us? was. I think you're just not pulling. What a strange intake. Oops, and okay. I bet somebody makes a good upgrade to this intake. I wonder how much it is. We should look. We should look it up, yeah. It looks like now we can get to our injector rails and pull them up. Ow. I can't get that. Let me try it. There you go. You might have to wiggle it left and right or something. I'm trying to find a good place to pry up on it. There you go. All right, all these came out. So you just push in on this metal clip. This is a EV1 style injector. This is one of the early style injectors. So these things have a lock on the injector. If you see this little arm right here, you have to slide this arm over one direction or the other and it unlocks the injector out of the rails. It's really odd. Is that it, Ralphie? Yeah. So it has this slide that locks her in. Hey, Scooty. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get it, Scooty. Get it. What is it? A bunch of them, the O-rings sticking in the rails. So take it a little pick tool and pull them out of there. So we're gonna have to take these hard fuel lines loose. It, we can't get the very front injector out with these hard lines up here. So I'm gonna take the feed and return loose. So what I'm doing now is I've got a ground on the one lead and I'm hooking this up. And when I push it forward, it'll put power to it. It's not even clicking. So we're gonna set these, I think, in the ultrasonic cleaner. One of the fans sent us. And we're gonna see if we can get them to work. And if not, you know, we may have to look into getting something new. Look at that. Isn't that nasty? That's why this ain't working. It's all these years of it sitting with fuel in the rails that just went bad. Minutes up to 20. <laughs> all right, we'll drop them in there. We'll see how this works. Ooh, be quieting down. All right, we're gonna let that bake for a while and see what happens. We're gonna go ahead and change the oil while those injectors are cooking. Man, this thing has a, look how big the sump is on this pan. I wonder how many quarts this thing holds. Let's see what we got. Uh, it's not terrible, it's a little dark, but it's not black like they usually are, huh? Yeah. I saw it had a Fram filter, which a lot of people don't like the Fram filters. I personally haven't had a failure or anything from a Fram filter, but I've seen them cut apart and I've heard some things. Apparently, when I went for my oil filter pliers, the thing <laughs> missed the pan and, of course, got all over the floor. I do this almost every time, it seems like. I don't know why I keep doing this. Of course, this oil filter's like every one we do, and it's completely uh, stuck on there. That seal gets crusted to these things uh, as they sit, I guess. Or people put them on too tight. <clears throat> Golly, I'm crushing it. Ah, I don't want to mess it up too bad. This is amazing. Get down here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It has air horns. Wow. Did someone put that on there? Yeah, I guess. Before we did. Your hair's incredible. Thank you. <laughs> well, of course, while trying to tighten the drain plug, drop the wrench in the drain pan. You always want to do that at least once when you're doing an oil change on something. Well, after a lot of struggle, <laughs> as you can tell by the oil filter, I finally got this thing loose. Oh, okay. So we got a brand new Wix filter here, and I like to fill them with Marble Mystery Oil when 
we have a new startup like this. It seems to help loosen stuff up. I just run it in the first oil change and you know, it just seems to help, especially with hydraulic lifters. And if you use the marble when you're pre-filling the filter, it goes through both sides of the element real quickly where oil doesn't really do that. It takes forever to fill one. Remember, always tighten these things down as tight as possible. That way the next guy can't ever get them off. And we actually have been referring to the manual that was in the back of this thing. These things are invaluable. All kinds of information on here. Look, it shows how to take those injectors out. Well, as big as that oil pan is, it says it only takes five quarts of oil. Approximate. It's funny that they put all this work in this book and it says approximate. So we got our 5W40 synthetic diesel oil. This is what I run in everything I drive. It has really good characteristics. Okay, time's up. I wonder how hot 72 degrees Celsius is when you look that up. This is probably too hot to touch. I knew you had dishwater hands. It's too hot to touch. I can't even feel it. Pull the basket up out of there. Ooh, that is hot. The Ooh, wires are gonna be hot. hot. All right, let's, oh man, look at the steam. All right, let's sit them over here and let them cool off for a second and then we'll check them out. I think we need to like blow through the holes in them. Like, I think you're there. right. And then I think we'll be good. Look at this. Rocky <laughs> has got out and he's teaching his son to get out with him. <laughs> so Rocky and Rocky Jr. are both in the shop. Just a puppy. <laughs> he acts like a puppy. We're gonna try to cycle these injectors with our Milwaukee battery here and then spray carb cleaner down through them to clean them out. Oh, see it spraying at the bottom? See it? No, we're not getting anything out of this one at the bottom. I think we got it, yeah. Oh, there it goes. See, there it goes. Coming out the bottom now. We need one of those machines where you can uh, clean injectors and flow test them and everything. That would be awesome. But this is all we got. We're just backwoods, Tennessee rednecks. This is the only way we know how to do it. Well, unfortunately, we've been working on trying to clean these things up for a while now, and we have three of them that will not do anything. So I checked around the local places, seeing if we could get a place locally that could service these things for us and flow test them. Haven't found anywhere locally that can do it. I'd have to ship them out somewhere. So for time's sake, what we ended up doing was getting a hold of uh, Holly, and they are going to send us some Excel injectors that are uh, actually one pound an hour bigger than what we have but the computer should be able to make up the difference there on that. And uh, we'll have a brand new set of injectors and we may ship these out somewhere and have them checked and flowed uh, and we'll have them as spares. Well, at least we got Rocky to help here, you know, clean all the leaves out of the cow. He's a good little helper, isn't he? No. <laughs> don't eat the sockets. He nibbles on that stuff, he don't eat it. This is not good. That's a bit trouble. Look, daddy's over here messing with stuff. He's over, now we gotta watch both angles. So the UPS man just showed up. It's the next day and we got something for Ralphie mini sleeper dude in the mail. <laughs> so that was quick, huh? Yeah. And they next date them to us. That's awesome. Ooh, it's heavy. That's heavy. Yeah, that's injectors. serious. Already got our injectors. So, yeah. all right, well, let's get these things on. Woo. Two claps of Ric Flair. Woo. You are up to no good. Here, you don't eat cardboard. Get out of here, get out of here. If you're gonna just mess up stuff. So these are 23 pound injectors, Ralphie, and the, I think the factory's 22. Fairly bigger injectors, but I saw guys saying that they run 24 pounders with no problem, so should be all right. Oh, lousy. Shiny. Look at that, fancy. Well, they look like they're a dead on match, so we should be good to go here. I wonder if you have to have those clip things on them. I wouldn't think so because most cars don't have this that I've ever messed with. But since it's kind of hard to put these on, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it. That way we don't have to do it twice, you know? Yeah. So you always want to put some oil or grease or something on your O-rings for your injectors because you will pinch them trying to put them in usually if you just try it dry. But these guys just drop right in there. And once you get the injector up in the rail, you just slide this little latch over and that locks it down. So we got all the injectors in there we just got to push them down there you go like that we did lose one clip we lost this clip right here so we'll see how that goes we'll test and see if you have to we need the clip or not i don't know where it went we can't find anywhere okay perfect fit on these i'll put a link in the description if you want to know the part numbers on these if you got a corvette and want to put them on yours now we just got to hook up our fuel lines and put our upper plenum on and we'll have this buttoned up what a weird intake, huh? 
I kind of like how it looks when it's together. It is pretty neat. I need to look at some of Richard Holdner's videos and see what's the best intake for this thing. I know they made a short runner that kills all your low-end power. All right, we got all three of our cables hooked up. It's actually a different square peg. So it's square peg, round hole, like you played in kindergarten. It's pretty simple to hook these back up. And they got these little clips here. Ralphie, try out the throttle there. Oh yeah. You ready to see if it'll run? Is it squirting gas? It's not a carburetor, it doesn't do that. Oh yeah. Ralphie, why don't you just key it on and we'll make sure we don't have any leaks before we try to start it. Just key it on and off several times. No, no, no. Key it on, not start it. Okay, let's try this again. I just went a little too far. Went a little too far. It almost started though, that's a good sign. So what do you think the chances are it's gonna start now or we have other issues 100%. somewhere? 100%. He's always believes it's well, gonna work. Like, uh. I, I, I accidentally pushed the key too start, far and it started. All right, now you shouldn't have to get any gas, try it. pump's coming on sometimes and sometimes it sounds like it's not coming on so we're just going to straight wire and see what happens go for it ralphie go again So now we're gonna go into checking code since we've kind of reached the uh, limit of checking stuff mechanically. So over here, you'll see we have no check engine light coming on at all, even when you key it on. So you should have a check engine light there coming on. I think it's in the middle. Yeah, see that? Service engine soon light. So we gotta get that light working or hook a test light to it so we can see if the check engine light's on. So we're gonna pull this cover off and See if we can put a bulb in this thing or what we're gonna have to do to get it working. I wanna fix the gauge. I know, there. we need to, yeah. And like, well, the gauges like weren't working when it was running, so. Yeah. The light came on, I'm gonna fix that. And it's cool. Oh, oh, no. oh, you should feel that, it feels so weird. <laughs> it's just like, turns to powder when you touch it. Ooh, it's warm. Oh, look, there's fuses behind here. That's weird. Look, it's got a circuit burn up on the board right there. And that, oh, there's your check engine light. No bulb whatsoever. Look, Ralphie, you've probably never seen this. Oh, wow. Where's the check engine? Right there. That's the one we need lit up. You can put a light behind them and see. Look, what? What kind of language is GM using with their cars? How dare you? So these four that are still in their work, two bulbs are completely missing here. Well, I said use it for the other. Use it for the check engine, yeah. you think? And if it don't work, then the fuse or something probably messed up. So we replaced the missing bulbs, and we're gonna see if it works now. Still nothing whatsoever. Hey, Snyder, get it off me! I don't right. want it! 
You worried about spider boys? It, it hanged down from the roof. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> They're worried about spiders. It was True. big. It was huge. Okay, so anyway, we now have a service engine soon lot, so that's a good thing. Well, let's check the codes. So since this is an OBD1 vehicle, uh, 84 to 93, you cross out these two terminals and then turn the key on and our check engine light should flash and give us some sort of codes on what's going on if it's a sensor related failure. So there's only one reason why a check engine light has a missing bulb. Somebody didn't want you to know something. Exactly. So probably before this last person bought the car, somebody took that bulb out so they wouldn't know it. If you cannot access the bulb, you just put you some black tape That's over it. That's right, black that. tape over it. That's all you have to do. All right, stenographer, Ooh. we're gonna figure out about these codes now. What do we got? Tell me something. One, two. So it's supposed to say code 12 that like everything's working. Yep, I think it does this three times. Now this will be, should be something different if there's something wrong. One, two, three, four. So we got four, two, three, four, five, six, 46, five, six. Now it should do something different. One, one, two. All right, so I think it's just code 46 is it. Is it. Yeah, it's just code 46. So we'll see, let's look that up. Not too bad. So code 46, we looked it up, is the VATS system, V-A-T-S, so it's Vehicle Anti-Theft System. Some of you guys that were old pros are probably already pointing out that the security light was flashing, which is an indicator that your VATS system is active. <laughs> Apparently there's a way to bypass it because what it's doing is it's not reading the resistance on this key good is what a lot of stuff I've read saying. And they say that you can trace the wires down and put a inline resistor to replace this, cut the wires and put a resistor in line and you don't have to have this chip in the key anymore. So we're going to try to find those wires and do that and see if we can finally get this thing to run. Look at these guys sitting out here. I mean, <laughs> look, he is training him just to be exactly like him. I thought y'all fixed the fence. Yeah, I thought we did. So we're gonna check the resistance on this chip in here. We're hitting between 14 and 1500 ohms. So we need to find a resistor that same size. So unfortunately the local radio shack about five years ago closed down, but I got in there when they had like everything 90% off sale and bought all these resistors. So I went through the last hour or so and checked every single pack of these resistors and finally found a 1500 uh, ohm resistor. So we're gonna get one of these guys out of here. Look, I went the extra mile. I'm trying to get organized. I'm working on it, guys. So we took the seven millimeter screws out of this, pull this down, and here is your wire. So we're gonna unplug this thing. This end here, which goes back to the computer, is the one that we're gonna cut the wires and put this resistor in line. So we went ahead and unhooked our battery. We're gonna cut this little guy right here. There we go. We got our 1500 ohm resistor in there that should bypass the key for us. We'll see if this works now. Please work. So you think it'll start now? Do you think it'll start? my question. Maybe. Maybe. It's knocked out. It knocked, it's knocked down. Yeah, it's knocked down. Let's, let's give it a try. It. You want me to do it? Yeah. I thought the fuel pump was gonna be it. I thought the injectors was gonna be all that was wrong. Then I thought this was it for sure. Give it gas a little bit. I did, I tried it. All right, let's check the codes again. We got our jumper wire in. Let's see what it says. Four, five, six, same code. Now we've had the battery unhooked. All right, it's went around twice now. So we have code 46 again, even though we bypassed the key. I wonder if it's some deeper problem. Hmm. See, we've still got the security light flashing. It shouldn't have to be jumped that thing, should well, it? Well, I mean, it, there may be another issue, you know. Mm -hmm. We've definitely got some mice action back in there. Fast forward, I've been researching for like the last three or four hours at least on what to do with this, why I still have this code 46. And what I've been reading on the forums, you've been there, is that there's been several guys that seem to have done the same stuff we did, where we bypassed the key deal and they still had this problem. Got the security light flashing, code 46. 
and a bunch of people had said they went to PCM of NC out of Mooresville, North Carolina. They have a VATS delete thing that plugs into your prom on your computer under this door and basically deletes the VAT system completely. So we got in touch with them. We're gonna send them the code off of our computer and they're going to send us a VATS delete module or whatever it's called. And hopefully this will finally fix our issue. It's been a couple days now and we just got this in the mail from PCM of NC. I guess that's our instructions to do it. Got a koozie, man, they went the extra mile, didn't they? And here we go. So this is the computer chip in here that's supposed to make everything work. Ralphie, when he gets home from school, he's gonna freak out about that. So we'll have to show him his stuff came in. Now I really hope this fixes everything. I mean, I'm really scared to even get near this because, you know, I watched Terminator. Not today, Skynet. Check the mail. Why? Because my Corvette not part, part of my video. Your Corvette parts, you're waiting on them? Yeah. Look what came in today, Ralphie. Look, you even got a koozie and a sticker. Wow. Did you say jacuzzi? Hey, what's your level of excitement? Because we can't tell from your face. So is it like one to ten? Ten's being super excited. So are you like a? What's your what's your number? Like a seven, eight. Okay. Maybe even a nine. Awesome. Are you qualified to put this in? I've never put one in before. Does that count? Look, this is your computer chip here, also known as a prom. This plugs into here. Your, your hair is so in the way, I can't even see. I had it upside down, didn't know it. So it says plug stock chip in here. Crank it down. There you go. So then this plugs in in place of your factory computer chip. So it plugs back in this way. So I guess we have to take the computer cover off. Your hair's in the way, Ralph. Your hair's in the shot. I forgot we gotta buy bags to put the bolts in because we're like your dad. <laughs> he does like to put stuff in bags, doesn't he? Yes. I'm breaking the seal here. Does it slide back? Oh, does it like hinge? Look at that. Look at all that computer stuff in there. I wonder what it's Don't thinking touch. about. Don't touch it. All right, let's get our chip in there. I guess it goes in like this. <gasps> Trying to scare mama. <laughs> I succeeded. Not funny. There we go. Look, it locks down. I'm surprised as old as this is that the whole computer box isn't completely full, you know, of stuff. It actually has open space down here. Raffi, what is the percentage chance it's gonna run now? A hundred. One hundred percent. You heard it here first, folks. I just noticed it says factory authorized remanufactured. So this is not the original computer. That's scary a little bit to me. Which way does this go? This is gonna be magic if this works. I think I'm just gonna leave it hanging down here. What do you say? Here we go. I think I heard the fuel pump. I did too. Well, 
that's awesome. It's burning off some stuff. I wish we had gauges like oil pressure. That'd be good, but it's not ticking. But we got it. We did our oil change and everything, so we should be good there. All right, I'm gonna put the button this back together where we can move it out of the garage. Easy, Eleanor. Ellie. Just to hurt him. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna rip and roll a burnout or what? I hope. What if it has too much traction? Since it has super wide casings and like. Surely we. might drag also. I think it will though. Surely. 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 Surely it will. I plugged back in the cooling fan before I forgot about it. Push a little pin in the bubba. Big old hood, huh? Yeah, you better air them casings up. How low is that one? Y'all know. I just knew it was low. There you go. Mental physics. Have you picked up any radio stations with your hair yet? Can you just shut up, bowl cut? <laughs> How much cereal got in that? <laughs> if you don't quit it. Didn't make it to the chair. Explain to us, Melania. That's all it took. Dad, do you want to explain to me what you're doing here? I'm trying, <laughs> trying to line these pins up so I can get the computer back in its spot. Oh gosh, my back. Ugh, L4. I think it's not L4. That's one of them. It was a letter and a number. The doctor said. Look at that, Ralphie. Oh, guess what, Mom? You ready? Look at that. Who is that? Usher. You know that guy, according to Dad. <laughs> oh my God, that's great. The 19 somethings. I'm pretty sure he still sings music right now. The 19 and mores. How do I get out? Here. I know how you got in. What do I do now? What? <laughs> Here, quit. Don't hurt on the manusculuses. Oh my gosh. So I got the dash all back together. We're gonna get it out of the garage for the first time. And I don't want you guys thinking that just cause somebody sent Ralphie a Corvette, it's changed him in any way. He hasn't changed him at all. He's still the same guy he always has been. You know, right? Yeah. Having a Corvette hasn't changed you a bit. You ready to go for a drive? Yeah. I feel like I should be like a detective on like a 90s TV show. <laughs> Feels like it has better brakes. Well, um, was it the Plymouth? The Plymouth, I just pumped the brakes and it like worked barely. Let's do our normal drive around the yard first just to see if it's good. Enough. Third immediately. And like I 
I upshifted too quick. Oh, oh let me get try to get it back in first. It sounded so good when it was revved so, up. Reverse, neutral, overdrive, drive, second, first. Man, it's hard to hold it back here.
feeling after the trip in the motorhome. Well, we put, what we put? We put at least five gallons in, didn't we? Yeah, but we tried to start it a long time. It ran really good at the house. starving for fuel on the way back just like the motorhome it was like starving for fuel well it's probably just got some so, old gas well, no, well we didn't ever change the fuel filter yet mm. or the air filter or the air filter which i don't think it's the air filter but ooh, ooh, ooh. We got a roach bug right out of it i swear i just seen it was big old thing right in there i seen it we we'll have to put a bug bomb in this thing it can't it came from in there and there's a weird like roly poly like That's orange roly poly out crawled out and I smashed it on my dang old man shoes. It sounds so good. Yeah it does, doesn't it? That well, it's burning off. Uh it's probably oil that got on the exhaust at some point or whatever, but we're definitely gonna have to do some more tune up work to it, aren't we? Yeah. But at least nothing caught fire. That's good. Yeah. How am I gonna reach the dang pedal? Alright, Ralphie wants to give it a drive here. So we're gonna try to start it back up and let him drive it. Wait, what is this doing? Yeah, I don't think that's it. Yeah, I think you're just trying to scoot forward, bub. Can you do that? Yeah, there you go. And the brakes, Ooh. you just gotta push them hard. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. You like it? See the brakes? You gotta go all the way down with them. <laughs> I'm not gonna go around. He doesn't fit in the seat too much yet. He's gotta grow into it. It turns so easy. It turns easy, yeah. Power steering. We're not used to power steering. Do it again? 
mom says it's okay. You got a green light from mom. Can you believe it? this off big thank you to holly and excel for helping us out with the injectors on this project and big thank you to pcm of nc for sending us the vats bypass chip that was a lifesaver so all that stuff uh, was in real bad shape and uh, clearly we have some sort of security system issue that that bypass helped us with so big thank you to them now let's go see rocky and vainia you know vainia wouldn't be happy unless we give her some rc cola and you know rocky's wanting some vainia Look, Rocky Jr. is already hitting me. Oh. Well, thanks guys for watching. Can you believe that somebody sent Ralphie a Corvette for his birthday? Call one out for your homies. Exactly. I mean, Stop. the generosity of people between our fan mail and, and this thing right here. It's I, amazing. It's amazing. People have sent us engine hoists and everything, and I can't believe it. You're so generous. Uh, big thank you to... The family that sent this to us, they didn't want to be mentioned by name, but you know who you are. We really do appreciate it. Ralphie really appreciates it. Yep. You, you made his dream come true. Ow. Make a make a wish out here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you haven't checked it out, check out our second channel, Sleeper Dude 2. We put up some stuff there of places we go and things we do and little short clips. Rocky, are you that He's starving to death. Look, you're starving to death. Look at that. But eat your bourbon barbecue vainas. You can also check out us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at SleeperDude88. We're going to start putting up some short videos on Facebook for you guys to see. You can check out our merchandise down below, get t-shirts. We don't sell white New Balance uh, tennis shoes, and we don't sell Corvette shirts. So don't go there for that. No Corvette keychains or anything either. But we no do sell... No chains either. No, no gold yeah. chains. There'll definitely be follow-up videos of this car if Ralphie has anything to do with it. We'll get all the tune-up stuff on it and get it running better. In the next video, we're going to have to drive it somewhere, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Man, this thing, it just boiled the casings off, didn't it? Yes. It mm -hmm. just boiled them off. I ate. Oh, you already ate? Yeah. He eats like a, a Lunchable, and he's done for the day. But really appreciate you guys watching. The views lately have been incredible. How many people are watching it? Ah! it it's... Uh, Button, whatever. We can't. We really can't believe how many views we're getting lately. It's really incredible. Thank you to everyone who watches it. This is what I've been wanting to do my whole life, and now I'm being able to live my dream of getting old cars running and working on my own project vehicles and working on drag cars. I mean, that's what I want to do my whole life, and you guys make it possible, and I really appreciate it. We really do. And Rocky appreciates it too. And we hit over a hundred thousand subscribers. Thank you to everybody who subscribed. We really appreciate that. It really helps us out. But we will see you in the next video, and until then... Jesus saves and George Nelson withdraws. <laughs> I was wondering which one you were going to go with this time. Maybe we could get this thing going and take it to the drag strip or something, or do an autocross event. That'd be cool. We're planning on going to Cleus and Cars Bristol, and we're planning on going to Ford Fest uh, in Bowling Green. So if you live near there, come, come meet us and uh, shake our hand, talk to us. We'd be happy to meet you there. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. 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 I didn't forget about you. No. You're see she's starting to slow down now. Yeah. Yeah. Take the time to enjoy Save it. Save You used to be so frantic. There you go. Good job, Winnie. Cool. Tell him bye, Rocky. Tell him bye, Puddin'. No? You don't want to tell him bye? Well, listen, just because I did a burnout in it doesn't mean you can do one in it. I basically drifted in the yard. You did basically drift in the yard. That was epic.